Hello everyone! Magsasolve ulit tayo ng ating homogeneous equations. We have to obtain the general solution for our DE. We have y dx is equal to quantity x plus the square root of y squared minus x squared dy. Tignan muna natin if our equation is indeed homogeneous. We will just be observing it term by term. Pero if you want to solve it na papalitan mo yung function of xy to function of lambda x lambda y, you may do so. Let's start with our first one, y dx, so this is just y, degree 1, and then we have our x dy, this is also degree 1, and then for this part, eto lang yung medyo pag-iisipan ng konti, pero kapag etong y, magiging lambda y, tsaka yung x, magiging lambda x, this will become lambda squared y squared, kasi naka-square siya, and then this will become lambda squared x squared. Tapos common si lambda squared, factor out, this becomes lambda squared times yung y squared minus x squared natin. Then the square root of lambda squared, that is just equal to lambda. Kaya etong part na to is also degree 1. If medyo na lito, ilalagay ko sa description yung link nung discussion about homogeneous functions. Then proceed na tayo, distribute muna natin to para hindi tayo malito memaya. So this becomes x dy plus the square root of y squared minus x squared dy. Then, pipili tayo, ano ba yung mas simple? Yung kasama ni dx or yung kasama ni dy? Obviously, mas simple dito yung kasama ni dx kasi y lang siya. In that case, we let x be equal to vy. And its derivative is just dx is equal to v dy plus y dv. Then, substitute natin lahat ng vy kay x at lahat ng v dy plus y dv kay dx. For this part, we have our dx here. So, this becomes y times etong part na to, sinabsitute natin kay dx is equal to, for this part naman sa ating right side ng ating equation, ang x natin will become vy and then plus, dito sa loob, eto yung x natin, this becomes vy and then squared. Simplification, so y times v dy, this is equal to vy dy, then y times y, this becomes y squared dv. For this part, vy times dy lang naman, diretso siya. And then, eto, yung square will be distributed both kay v tsaka kay y. So, this becomes v squared, y squared. Kung mapansin nyo, we have our vy dy sa ating left side tsaka sa right side. Pag eto nilipat ko, this will become negative. So, etong part na to will become 0. Matitira si y squared dv. And then, dito naman, common si y squared. So, finactor out ko siya. y squared, ang natira is 1 minus v squared. Then, dahil multiplication ng operation, nasa loob sila ng radical, I can separate them na in this form. So, this is square root of y squared times the square root of 1 minus v squared. So, pwede natin gawin yon kasi again, the operation between them is multiplication. And then, the square root of y squared, that is just equal to y. Kaya, nalid tayo in this form, y squared dv is equal to y, the square root of 1 minus v squared dy. Then, separable na siya. Tanggalin na natin yung dapat hindi kasama ni dv tsaka ni dy. In this case, kailangan kong tanggalin si y squared kasi dapat ito ay function of v. Ito naman, ang kailangan kong tanggalin ay yung buong square root of 1 minus v squared. To do that, I will be multiplying both sides of my equation by 1 all over y squared times the square root of 1 minus v squared. Mawawala to dito, ang matitira dun sa ating left side is dv all over square root of 1 minus v squared. Dito naman sa ating right side, mawawala si the square root of 1 minus v squared. This will become y all over y squared. That is just equal to 1 over y times dy is dy over y. This is already a function of v dv, function of y dy. So I can get its solution by taking the integral nung both sides ng ating equation. Andito na tayo sa step ng ating homogeneous equation where we will be taking the integral. Doing that, kung mapapansin nyo, we have our dv all over the square root of 1 minus v squared. Ito yung medyo komplikado, pero ito, dy over y, this is just equal to ln of y. If you recall, we have our the square root of this is 1 squared minus v squared. So, the square root of the difference of two squares. Kapag ka, meron kang ganun, tapos nasa denominator sila, that may lead to arc sign where our a is just equal to 1 and our u is just equal to v. Doing the integral, this will become arc sine 
u natin again is v all over a, ang a natin is 1. So, arc sine of v all over 1, that is just equal to arc sine of v is equal to etong part na to, this is just ln of y plus c. Integration leading to inverse trigonometric functions. Then, balik na lang natin to, yung v natin in terms of x and y, kasi kanina, nilet natin si x as vy. So, solving for the value of v, v is just equal to x all over y, multiplying both sides of my equation by 1 over y. And then, substitute ko lang siya dito sa ating v, then our final answer is arc sine of x all over y is equal to ln of y plus c. This is our simplified solution ng ating differential equation.